Hello everybody, good afternoon and welcome back to another video. So we're going to do a bit of a stitch Saturday as well as a project Sunday, kind of all in one. Because um, it's Mother's Day tomorrow and I don't know if I'll have time to upload a video. But there will be um, a picture going up on my Instagram. So there will be some sort of content on my um, platform. So if you go and follow me on there, I'm at hooks dot and needles one i post more exclusive content along as throughout the week and at the weekend in relation to my videos so today um you seem to have enjoyed and seem to like my granny square video so i thought today we'd do um a little bit of a granny hexagon which is really really nice um it's a little bit different than the granny square um because it uses two treble crochets in instead of three um so it's a little bit different and also it's got six sides instead of four which makes it a hexagon so um i'm going to be creating that today <clears throat> Um, so I've got this purple yarn that I'm going to be using and I've got the corresponding hook size 5mm and I've also got some scissors just to cut off my ends when we're done. So um, if you grab all your supplies that you need and we'll get going. Okay so to begin we're going to make a slip knot and you can do this in whichever way you feel comfortable. And then we're going to insert our crochet hook and just pull tight like so. We're going to chain four, just like our granny square. And we're going to slip stitch into this first chain that we created. So not the first chain from the hook, but this first chain here. And we're going to yarn over and slip stitch that. So now we've made a little circle that we're going to work into. So for round one, we're going to begin by chaining three, which does count as our first treble crochet. And then to make our second treble crochet, all you need to do is yarn over, insert your hook into the centre circle, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. If you are a beginner to crochet and you are struggling with the treble crochet, the slip stitch, the chains, all of that, I have got some videos on that in my previous um, videos on my channel. So just scroll down and check those out. Okay, so for our next group of two, we're going to chain two so that we've separated them. And we're going to do another two treble crochets. That is our second group of two trebles. Chain two again. Our third group of two trebles. Like so. Chain two again. Our fourth group of two trebles. And you just repeat this all the way around until you have six groups of two trebles. So pause the video here and work two trebles, a chain of two, two trebles and a chain of two until you have six groups of two trebles. Okay, so here I have my groups of six two treble crochets and chains of two um, between both of them. And to finish off the round, I'm just going to chain two so that I have my gap between my first two and my last two. And all I'm going to do is slip stitch into this first, the third chain that we made at the very beginning. Just slip stitch into it like so. Okay, so now we have, as you can see, our first round, and now we're going to work our second round. So it's kind of like um, the granny square um, in the fact that we work into the corners for our second round. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to show you how to do that. So to begin, chain three, which counts as your treble crochet, but then we need to chain one so that we skip this block and move on to our corner. So if I just explain that, 
our first chain three counts as our treble crochet but it counts as the treble crochet in this gap here not this gap here so when we're when we're making our granny square we need to chain one so that we skip the two trebles in the middle so <clears throat> In this gap here, we're going to work two treble crochets as our block of two. We're then going to chain two because it's a corner. And we're going to do another two treble crochets into that exact same gap that we worked into. Now we have two treble crochets here, but we're just going to leave those, chain one over them, and we're going to work into this gap here, ignoring these two here. So then do another, another two treble crochets, chain two, because it's a corner, another two treble crochets, into the same exact thing. So you're just going to repeat this all the way around, making sure that you um, skip the block of two from the previous round with a chain of one, then doing two trebles into the corner, a chain of two, and another two trebles into that exact same corner. So pause the video, work this all the way around, and I'll see you at the end of the round. So at the end of this round is a little bit confusing. So we've got our corner and then we've chained one and now we're in our final corner. And all I've done is done two treble crochet, a chain of two, and we're going to do one treble. And I'll show you why. Because this chain that we made at the beginning counts as our second treble for this group. So then all you need to do is slip stitch into the third chain and you've completed your round two. Now we have our round two. This is just a um, granny hexagon of three rounds, which is what I'm going to be showing you today. But obviously you can keep growing it as you wish. So for our third and final round today, we're going to chain three. And we have a gap directly beneath it. So all we're going to do is do one treble. And that counts as our group of two trebles in this gap. Then because it's not a corner, we're just going to leave that there. And we're going to chain one to skip this group of two. Now we're at a corner. So we need to do two trebles. A chain of two because that's what we do at a corner and then two more treble crochets into that exact same gap that we just worked into now we have a group of two so we need to chain one and now we're in the middle we're not at a corner we're just in the middle so we just need to do two treble crochets into this gap then we have a group of two so we're going to chain one and then we're at a corner so we're going to do two treble crochets a chain of two and another two treble crochets into that exact same space so i'm going to leave you now for this third round and i will meet you back at the end remember to do two treble crochets into the gap chain one when you reach a gap to skip it two trebles when you're at a corner chain two and another two and so on and so on so pause the video and i'll meet you back here at the end of this round so here i am almost at the end of my third and final round and to join this group and this group I'm just going to chain one and slip stitch into the third chain from the hook like so and then all I'm going to do to finish off is chain one 
and cut my yarn like so and pull through to make a knot so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it helpful um and that um you can make some beautiful hexagons just like this um you'll be able to join them up which will be a really fun thing i might do a video in the future of joining all of the hexagons along with the squares which i haven't forgotten about um but make sure you keep piling up your stack so that um, you're ready so I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to comment down below what other videos you'd like to see in the future I'm hoping to do a few more projects um, over the next few weeks um, so they might be like part one and two over the weekend um, so if you'd like to see that just comment down below and all of your suggestions as well and also like this video because it really does help me out and shows me um, that you have enjoyed it. And subscribe to my channel for future um, content, Stitch Saturdays and Project Sunday. And also, um, if you can, try to follow me on Instagram. I'm at hooks.andneedles1. There'll be um, a link at the end of this video that you can go and follow me on there. I hope you enjoyed watching this today. And I will see you all next week. Bye.